If you're looking for something to keep you from nibbling on holiday leftovers, or if you're needing something to help you de-stress from holiday shopping, I have four fun and easy DIY projects for you today. And they're using primarily Dollar Tree products, so they're budget friendly as well. This is part of a playlist with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY, and we host one every single month on the fourth Friday of the month with a different theme. And this month's theme is Christmas, so let's make something fun. My name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. DIY number one is a Hobby Lobby inspiration, and I was going to use one of these chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree, but it felt a bit flimsy, so I opted to use this thicker wood circle that is also from Dollar Tree. This is the inspiration piece that I saw in Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultramatte Paint in the color Charcoal to paint this wood circle. And now that it is dry, I'm just using a pencil to sketch where I want to write the word Mary. And I would be very merry if you would hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you'll know every time I share something new. Now I'm using a paint pen to trace over the letters that I just sketched and I could have used my Cricut but I just wanted to show you that you have options when creating even if you don't have a Cricut at home. The beads I'm using are from Hobby Lobby and they were at least 40% off and they were a long strand so I've been able to use them for several projects. Now in the inspiration piece the wood circle was floating inside the beads but I was trying to make them tighter around the circle and I'm just measuring to see how many beads I need and then tying it off. I had some beads left over but I've got another project that I'm working on so they'll come in handy for that. I did have a very similar bow to the inspo piece, but it didn't look right. So I just got this raffia bow that I had in my stash. I hot glued it on and then trimmed the ends just a bit. As I mentioned earlier, this video is part of a playlist that my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and I do every month. Fun fact, Sarah and I met in real life when I was up in her neck of the woods this past October and it was so fun. Anyways, I'm going to have a link to her channel and the playlist linked in the description box below so be sure and check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. So now back to the crafts. Jumping into DIY number two, I'm using this old hymnal and taking out a page and it's actually the page for the song Oh Christmas Tree and I'm going to be using it to make the next craft. I went ahead and drew a triangle on it with a pencil. And the next step, of course, is just to cut out the triangle. And as you can see, Captain is supervising this project. You're going to then fold the piece of paper accordion style, just back and forth, back and forth. And then take a hole punch, and with it folded up, you're going to punch a hole in it. I then took this flat canvas from Dollar Tree and painted it with Waverly paint in the color antique green. To make the frame around the canvas, I'm using tower tumbling blocks from Dollar Tree. And I start out by laying some of them down so I have an idea of where they're going to go. And then I just start hot gluing my way all the way around the canvas. I then take my distressing ink and distress the edges of the music page. And once that's done, I once that's done, I fold the page back up and I take a small dowel and I that's going to be the trunk of the tree. I hot glued in place with just some small dabs of hot glue. Don't want to go overboard with it. I used my Cricut and some white vinyl and cut out the words "Oh Christmas Tree." I could have handwritten it, but the Cricut is neater and it's easier for me. So I position it where I want it, press it down, and peel back the transfer tape. I take a wooden star from my stash and paint it gold, and this is going to be the topper for my tree. And if you haven't noticed, I tend to like my projects to have a more rustic or vintage feel to them. So I'm just using this distressing ink to get that look. I have, I used some of it on the star as well as on the frame. And I could have stained the frame, but I wanted to kind of keep it more of the natural wood look. So I'm just adding some of the distressing ink to the edges. 
and then I use a really small amount of hot glue to attach the tree to the frame and then I add the star to the top and then I add some small amounts of hot glue on the back of the tree to secure it down. This turned out really pretty cute. Now I decorate my home with a tree theme and so this is going to fit in nicely. It's easy to make and budget friendly. If you or someone you know is into all things crafting, you might want to check out Crafty DIYs on a Budget, which is a crafting group on Facebook that Sarah from GGB DIY and I run together. The link is going to be in the description box below. Okay, these last two projects are so easy. I made a template and I'm going to link it in the description box below. I took my template and traced it out onto some chipboard just so it's easier to use and I traced out my pieces on the black and white felt. And then cut out the pieces. And I hot glued them onto the candle. Now this is going to be a Santa candle, so I took some gold ribbon to make the belt buckle and glued that on the front of the belt. And then I added his little white collar. Now I'll show you both candles after I finish DIY number four. For this project, I also have a template linked in the description box below. And I created the template and again, cut it out on chipboard or you can use cardboard or whatever. I just wanted it to be sturdier and easier to use. And then you just take your pattern and whatever color felt you're gonna use and trace it and then cut it out. And if you haven't guessed, I am making Buddy the Elf. I got the yellow candle from Dollar Tree and I cut all of my felt pieces out and now it's just a matter of gluing it all onto the candle. And this is how it turned out. I really love it. I'm thinking now how to go back and make that Santa look more like Buddy with like a hat and you know his beard and stuff. And then also I have plans, a future surprise, but I don't want to ruin it, but I have plans for another candle that goes with Buddy the Elf. Can you guess who it might be? Y'all, I'm really so very thankful for all the love and support that you show my channel, for the shares and for the likes and for the comments. I really do appreciate it. And it helps YouTube to notice me just a little bit more. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.